We are just about 10 miles south of downtown. You get a look inside NRG Stadium in Houston, the home of the Texans. About ready to get this one started. Amy Fairbairn ready to kick it off. And off we go from Houston. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. First carry now for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. Throwing, Richardson. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. The screen works for 10 yards and a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and there wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. That's 13 more on that play, and quickly another first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. Look him up on a second down and eight. They'll go again here with Taylor. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here keeping it to no gain. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. From the gun, Richardson. He gets this one complete to Pittman. It's a gain of 19 in the air. Challenge flag is out to Miko Ryan saying, I want another look at this one. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. And think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target. But I don't think it's going to be his last. They'll come up here first and ten. Richardson will give it to Taylor. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings them right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. A second down throw for Richardson. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman with that one. And it's going to bring up a third down. You know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? Gay's kick is good. And the Colts are out to an early 3-0 lead. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this, 
with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. This taken in at the eight-yard line. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. This one complete to Jordan. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. And that is incomplete. He's looking for Joe Mixon coming out of the backfield. And it's going to be third down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. From the 39, here's a first and 10. A man acquired by trade in the offseason, it's Joe Mixon. He'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. It's a big-time run by Mixon, and even 30 yards. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Here's first and ten. On play action. Stroud. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Second and a yard. Here's Mixon. He works free. Right side. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Go Mixon. Touchdown, Houston. Now, Kaimi Fairbairn. On for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Texans move out to a 7-3 lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. This one taken at the 7. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Colts offense ready to see the football for the second time. The trail by four, touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and 10. Out 
Colorado shotgun. Richardson. The pass rush gets home, and he goes down. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. On second down, here's a run with Taylor. And he'll take this ahead for about three. And that'll set up third and long. On play action, Richardson. That's the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. That's his first reception of the ball game, and it really comes at a good time as they get the conversion on third down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. 22 yards, the pick up there. First down, Indianapolis. Richardson, gonna look to throw. That one, incomplete. They can hook up there, and that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down. Third and six. To throw, it's Richardson. He'll look deep for Pittman. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. A big gainer for Indianapolis. It's a gain of 34. So here's a chance to take the lead going into the locker room. It's first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. A dive, and he's in! Jonathan Taylor. Touchdown, Colts. A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, Finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, and once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Texans offense going to see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and 10. From the gun, here's Stroud. He'll spot his big tight end. That's Dalton Schultz. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. We'll come to the line now on second and two. 
Now, Stroud. A pass complete to Noah Brown. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. set up to throw. He's got his man. That's Nico Collins. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. play fake. Here's Stroud. That's caught downfield by Diggs. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early in that last pickup leads to the first down and a critical tackle there and getting close to scoring instead they get nothing time has run out this first half has come to an end three points all that separates these two sides has half number two kicks off now here comes a return from the nine he'll wind up getting this all the way to the 45 yard line the Texans' offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They'll start with great field position up at their 45. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Stroud to throw. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. About 15 yards to kick off the drive. It's a first down. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. On the ground, it's Mixon. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Give it to Mixon. Finding room to the 20. And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. They get 21 on that one. First down for Houston. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs to kind of help wear down the defense. But I'll tell you what. You can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. Oh, man, wide open. He's got it. Touchdown, Texans. Oh, the teamwork was just ideal there. Greg, we don't see practice all week, but we see it pay off in the game. And when you have... And before the try, remember, it is a touchdown. All scoring plays are reviewed. So replay will confirm this one before we do anything else. Bear Bear to add the extra point. It's up and through. And the Texans are on top. It's 14 to 10. <laughs> and 
And so after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. Here comes a return from the three. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Colts offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Here's Richardson. That one complete to Pierce. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. They get 11 and quickly pick up a first down. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. First and ten. Zone read, it's a give to Taylor. And he'll only be able to muster a couple of yards. Christian Harris there on the stop. On second down, Richardson to the tight end, and he fits it in on the corner route. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. He got loose after the grab, and they couldn't bring him down. A gain of 28. In order for this play to be successful against man coverage, Mike, two things need to happen. One, the quarterback has to anticipate the break. He has to get that ball out on time. And then the rest is the receiver. That one is caught beyond the pylon. Alec Pierce. Touchdown, Indy. Now Gay for the extra point. He's got it. And the Colts move out to a three-point edge, 17 to 14. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This will be returned from the six. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. They'll go play action with Stroud. Open man, downfield, it's Nico Collins. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Don't get that often during the season. First play of the drive picks up 29 yards. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver, who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hands, and results in a completion. So, both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Second and 11. They'll run. Yeah. 
Look at him stay on his feet as he's able to shimmy his way for a gain of about five. From the gun here on third down, it's Stroud. That's caught. It's Joe Mixon. And he's going to be out of bounds with a gain of seven. And that'll be enough for a first down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one on one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. A pickup of 12 yards. It's good for a Texans first down. Stroud. That is caught. What a throw. Touchdown, Houston. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. What a game this has been back and forth we go, and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike, and now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Now return coming from the seven. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Colts offense ready to get back at it. They'll start out first down and 10. From the gun, Richardson. And this one is caught by Pierce. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning remain as we get set for first and ten. Here's Richardson. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. Here is first and ten. They'll drop to throw. That one into the hands of Dan. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. They'll come up now for second down. Looking to throw, Richardson. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, taken in over the middle. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. 
getting hard to hear in here. The noise very loud from the crowd. Third and three. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. They desperately needed that one, Mike. Down here late, they've only got a few remaining snaps to go, and it puts all of the pressure of the game now on fourth down. Let's see what play call they have in a gotta-have-it situation. And right now, this quarterback needs to make his best throw in the biggest moment of the game. Now the Colts will use the first of their timeouts. Get the stoppage with just over 50 seconds to go in this one. Here is first and goal. Out of shotgun, Richardson. And this is a touchdown! They were not going to be denied, and they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. From the six, here comes a return. Oh, he's got room past the 30. A very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. The Texans offense about ready to take over once more. They'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40. This is first and 10. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. Toward the sideline, there's Brown. 13 yards to start that drop. And a quick first down. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. Now he takes off. The Texans going to go ahead and use their first time out here. Clock will stop with 35 seconds to go. Here's second down. Now Stroud. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. The game is there for the taking. They control their own destiny, but this brings up a really big third down here. But remember, they don't have to force it and push the ball past the sticks. Even if they come up short, they still have fourth down in their back pocket to try to extend this drive and see if they can pull out the win here late. there he can't get a throw away and he's taken down certainly hasn't been their best game in terms of rushing the passer but you find yourself with the lead here in the fourth quarter no better time for that pass rush to come alive and see if they can close this game out defense has to play smart avoid a penalty on fourth and long Here's Stroud. That's deep for the back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. They took the end zone shot of the final play. It's a heartbreaking finish. And this one will come to an end. 
So this one, a win for the visiting Colts. They knew this would be a dogfight away from home, and they were right. They come away with a hard-fought victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone.